Hello guys, this is Dow from Elixir Node. Today we're gonna talk about lockperms, how to configure and use it. Stay tuned and let's get right into it. So let's talk about lockperms, what it is and how it works. Lockperms is a permission plugin for Minecraft servers. It can run on buckets, Picot, Bungie Cord, etc. It allows server admins to create different groups and assign those groups different permissions. It is a really good plugin and at the moment it is the most used plugin to create groups because it is super easy to use you will see that in a few minutes it is super fast like it won't lag even a bit your server and it is free which is the best thing about it to get it you just have to go to spigotmc.org don't forget that this link will also be in the description of the video press the download now button download whatever you want then go into your multicraft your multicraft panel from Elixir node. Go to my servers. Then head down to files, FTP file access. Here you you just have to put your multicraft password and press the login button. Then go to plugins and press the upload button and choose a file. As you can see adding plugins to your Minecraft server it is super easy if you have Elec a server from Elixir node because we provide the best multicraft panel and the best servers at the moment. As you can see the plugin has already been installed all you have to do now is restart your server or start it if it stopped. This will take less than 5 seconds because as I said earlier at the moment Elixir node has the best servers. They are super easy to use as you can see and they are super fast. If we look in the console, as you can see, the server has started in less than 2 seconds, which is great. Then we just head back to files and FTP file access. We put our multicraft password one more time here. Then go to plugins. As you can see, the lockperms folder has already been created. You just have to press on it. And then open the config.yml. So the lockperms config is literally like the most detailed config for a plugin. Even without the video, you would know how to create and use the config because it's pretty easy and you have all the information necessary here. But we will not get through all of these things, we'll go to the important stuff, like how to use lockperms on a bungee server. First of all, you will see this server global. Let's say you want to use the plugin on a survival server, then you just have to type here survival. If you want it on a factions, then you just do factions. But because I'm not using a um, bungee cord server and I'm working on a normal one, I'll just set it to global. Then if you scroll down, you'll start getting to the data storage. Here you have to choose if you want to use a database or if you don't want. If you put H2, then you will not use a database. But if you want to use it, you just have to type MySQL and put your address, database, username and everything. Our host Elixir node will provide you with a MySQL database for free that is coming with the host. So you don't have to worry about that. For the moment I will just keep it to H2 because I'm not using a database at the moment. Databases are kind of important if you want to use a bunch core server. Because it will help you like keep things in touch and not mess the plugin. But if you want to make a small server but you know that in the future we will make it a bigger network. We will transform it into something bigger. We recommend you using the database from now. It's pretty easy to set up and don't forget Elixir node will bring you a database for free that is coming with the host. Then one thing to do is set broadcast received log entries to false because when it's set to true, if you're this is again for the bungee cord proxy. If you if it's set to true, there there's a percentage that some messages will be sent twice. And that will look pretty bad and I, th I think no one wants that. So you just have to set it fo to false. But again, I'm not using bungee cord in my case. So I'll just leave it to true. This is all of the config. Don't forget to save it after you've done anything in it. Now let's hop back in Minecraft. Okay guys, so we're back in Minecraft. Now let's start creating different groups and assigning them some permissions. First of all, you'll have to type this command into your console. Because... This command allows the specific player uh, to have access to all the con all the permissions from Lockworms. This is really important because without this command, you won't be able to create groups and assign them permissions, change their prefixes, suffixes, etc. So, copy the command from the description, 
then go again into your elixir node multicraft panel go straight to console and all you have to do is type it here then press enter you will see this message in the console and if you go into minecraft you will also see this message now let's start creating some groups first of all let's think about some ranks we already have the default rank that rank is created when the plugin is configured and installed on your minecraft server so let's add the VIP rank and then let's add the help and moderator rank. All you have to do is LP, create group. Let's go, let's put it VIP, then create helper and moderator. Okay, we are ready to go with the ranks. Now, let's create some track links. There's some tracks. What are those tracks you may be wondering? The track is like a list of upgrades for each rank like how they are ordered let me let me tell you look at this lp create track and let's have two different tracks the one with stuff ranks and the one with bible ranks now lp track let's go with stuff append the first stuff rank is the helper one which is the lowest you do this and then you just add here moderator and now as you can see Group moderator was appended to track staff as well as helper and that little drawing that you can hear right here will help you understand what tracks are. They are literally like upgrades from one rank to another so the plugin knows the order of the ranks. There will be more things that will uh, defy the order of the rank but we'll get them to them sooner. Now let's do the same for the LP for the ranks, LP track, ranks. We will first start with default because this is a default rank. Then we will do VIP and as you can see it worked the same. If you had more ranks then it would have appeared default then VIP then moderator. Now let's think about some prefixes right? Because prefixes are really important and it will make your server look better and know what rank the player has. So. You to do that you just have to do lp group then let's go with default meta add prefix by the way you can also add a suffix or a temporary prefix and temporary suffix then you just have to set the priority of the rank the priority means like how important the rank is if you set it to one the rank will be the least important but if you set it to let's say 50 it will be the most important one from this list Let's go with default with one because it's the default rank. Now add some commas and between the commas you just put the rank's name. By the way you can also use color codes. I'm gonna go with add seven then member. Pretty easy. Now let's do the same for the other ranks LP group. Don't forget all of the commands will be in the video description so don't worry about them. Uh, VIP then let's go um, meta add prefix the priority now will be 2 and commas and between the commas let's go like 8 VIP as you can see everything worked again now let's also do it for the helper we ain't gonna do it for the moder moderator rank because it's gonna take too long so LP group helper meta add prefix now this is a staff rank which is always much more important than any of the bible ranks so the bible ranks we go like default priority one v priority two let's say v plus priority three etc but for the staff ranks you just have to start from a higher priority let's say the helper which is the least important staff rank will start from 50 um add prefix uh, the priority 50 and then the ranks display name we'll go like five uh helper and then close the commons as you can see everything will prop work properly now okay let's also do it for the moderator we'll do it like this so you understand how priority works they are kind of um the same as a track list and all together and with the wave the meta wave they will like result in the ranks importance we will also get to meta waves in five seconds something like that 
So now let's set it to 5 and here change it to moderator. Pretty easy. Let me set the time today. Pretty good. Okay, now let's set the ranks the ranks wave. Now you're wondering well what is that though? It's kind of the same as the priority and it involves the track list and the priority. It says it like sets how important the rank is. You just have to do uh, LP group default. Let's choose the default one. Set wave and set it to one again because it's the least important rank. For um, helper again, set it to fifty. Group helper, you set it to fifty. The wave and the priority and the track list work together and combined you will get a clean config and a clean order of all of the plugins. And for example, if you have three plugin, uh, three ranks for the same player, it will display the most important one and the chat will not be full of prefixes and suffixes, you know? Okay, now maybe you're wondering how can we do the permissions? Is there a GUI? Do we do it? Do uh, do we have to uh, type them in a config? No, it's completely different. You have to use an online editor that they provide. You just have to do LP editor. Wait a second, and you are gonna get this link. Open the browser that you want to use, and paste it here. Now you have this menu. In this menu, you can see the tracks, the groups, and the users. We will get through all of them. The tracks. You know, we just talked about them earlier. Here you will also be able to see all of the permission, all the permissions from each rank. And the two tracks, staff and ranks. In our case, you can also create the tracks from here. But I just wanted to do them via Minecraft. Now, you can also give specific players specific permissions. Like I did my to myself when I gave myself the lock perms permission. So I can have access to all the permissions. For example, the default rank will not have this permission because it was assigned only to myself, to my username. Now let's get to the ranks and how to add permissions. Do go to groups and choose what rank you have. As you can see the moderator and VIP have nothing here, no number. Yeah, because this is because we haven't set any wave on them. As you can see the default has wave 1 and you can see here and the helper 50. Easy right? Now for the default one, let's add some permissions. Another feature that um, Logperms has, and it's awesome, it's super helpful, is that you can see all of the permissions from all of the plugins that you have on the server at the moment. In my case, I'm only running Essentials and Logperms, so I can see all the permissions from both plugins and from Bucket and Minecraft. For the default rank, let's do something pretty easy. Let's do Essentials.spawn, and press Enter, and then Essentials.setHome, again, Enter or click it, essentials.home after you've wrote all of these three you can set the value to true or false whether you want this permission to um, be accessible from this rank and you can have, you can also set with when to expire the date then press the plus button and as you can see the permissions have been added and the rank the rank has been highlighted with green because it has some permissions in it now let's say we're gonna do the same for the helper rank essentials dot mute and let's also do essentials dot uh, ban now if you want to have all of the permissions from the default rank to helper without typing them again and again and again all you have to do is go to the helper rank and press the parent groups plus press plus and select the default rank now all of the permissions from the default rank will also be available on the helper rank which is pretty awesome because you don't have to write them twice. So for example if you want to go to the moderator rank and do essentials dot I don't know OP you can just add the parent groups like default and automatically let's say VIP. Pretty easy. If you want to add the permissions from helper and default at the same time you can just select helper because when you're adding all of the permissions from the helper rank you're also adding all of the permissions from the default rank I don't, I don't know if you understand it but think about it 
if you're adding uh, to the moderator rank the parent group helper the helper rank also has a parent group which is default so you're adding both groups as parents now after you're finished with your permissions you can just close this and don't forget to save it before all of that you will have to run this command on your server so that everything will be applied now let's get back on minecraft and show you everything okay guys so we're back on minecraft now as you can remember they gave us a command you just have to type it in here and as you can see all of the permissions and the groups have been assigned you will get a ton of messages don't worry do not panic this is what it's supposed to happen now let's test our um, groups if you want to give someone a group you just have to do lp user the user's name in my case it's my username parent set and then the group name let's say um, moderator easy right if you want to see all the permissions all the prefixes suffixes from a plugin uh, no, sorry from a rank you just have to do LP group select the group let's go for moderator and then type info and now you can see the parent groups the contextual data the prefix uh, the wave the display name you can see everything actually you can do this for the helper rank and you can do this for all of the ranks even for default so don't remember guys to add someone a rank to set the rank of a player the command is lp user the um, uh, person's name parent set and the rank do not forget all of the commands will be displayed in the description so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions don't forget to put them in the comment section don't forget about our discord server and don't forget if you want to start your own minecraft server but you don't have that much money and you want a really good hosting company then you, you can just go to alex your node which is really good and has some good price you can get your own minecraft server for one dollar per ram which is super good and super cheap don't forget to join our Discord, Discord server, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, if you have any questions, ask them on our Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you, I will see you in our next video. Bye!